So this is a video explaining how to do custom trades. So first of all, it's just a villager. It says one diamond for one golden apple, one shiny diamond for one shiny apple, and then the trade's done here. So if I just grab some diamonds, see that I can do it for one golden apple. It takes away a diamond, gives me a golden apple, but I can't, and I can do it as many times as I want, but I can't do this one because you need a shiny diamond, which this isn't. So if I just hit that block. So now I've got these shiny diamonds, and you'll see that when you click on this one, now I can do the trade and it takes away one of these instead. So the way it works is, first of all you've got the commands in the villager, so the first button spawns a block next to these command blocks, and the second one next to these, so we'll start this one here. So it spawns a redstone block here, which triggers this one, and in this one set block the coordinates air, so it then deletes the redstone block, which then, because that one's active, this one's on chain, conditional, always active, so it activates this one. This one clears one diamond of normal data value from the player's inventory that has. So that's the specification here. So nearest player that has the item diamond with a quantity of one or more. So this just checks that it takes a diamond away from a player who has a diamond. Otherwise it will just go through and not actually take anything away. And then this one chain conditional always active just gives them the golden apple. So it's just giving them the reward for the trade. Okay. So this next one, again, the second button just places a redstone block here. This one then turns that redstone block into air, which then triggers this one. Chain conditional always active, which checks the player has item, same as before. Diamond, same as before. Quantity, one or more, same as before. And then it also checks the data value. So I'll explain in a minute how to get that. But so this checks that it's a specific type of diamond, not just any of them. And then takes away one diamond that has the data value of two and then gives an enchanted golden apple, so that's just a gift command. Okay, so the way that you get the different data values is just doing a normal give command for yourself, give self diamond, one of them, and then you'll see at the bottom, you've got give, which is the player or target, so self, item name, diamond, amount, one, and then data. So this doesn't work for things with durability, but for things without it, like diamonds, you can have custom data values, so normally they're all zero. When we're spawning a specific one in that you want to name, you would put two. Like that. And then to stop it stacking with other diamonds, you just rename it something else. And so this way it's not going to stack when I bring more diamonds into my inventory. Whereas it would otherwise, and it make the whole stack data value two instead, which we obviously don't want. And then this one will also work for the trade because it's got the same data value. Right, so that's how the trading works, and now I'll show you how to do it. So first thing you want to do is spawn in the villager. So summon NPC, and you can name it if you want to. Doesn't matter, but just summon NPC for now. And then dialogue, you want to write what you want to trade. So in this case, we'll up it a bit just to make it obvious how it works. So instead, I'm going to do 23 coal for one diamond. Okay. So next I want to add a button and want to make it clear that that's what you're getting from it. So I'm going to write plus one diamond and then next thing we need to do, grab a command block, place three of them and then get the coordinates for the spot right in front of the first command block. Copy those. In the button in the villager just put set block, coordinates and then stone block there we are and then the same command in here just set block coordinates put air instead so it deletes it and then the second one chain conditional always active and now we're looking for a command that takes away the item from the player but it only takes it away if they've got it so if we just typed in clear nearest player coal data value zero and then take away 23 then this would take away 23 coal even if they don't have it and continue so they don't need the right amount to do the trade they just need one so we don't want that so instead we add this has item command and then so squiggly bracket item equals coal so this will now check that the player's got coal in their imagery and now we want a bit more than that so we want to check they've got the right amount so quantity, if we put quantity 23, it will only work if they've got exactly 23. 
cool so instead we put two dots which means equal to or greater than or two dots before which means less than or equal to and then you can also do 20 dot dot 25 which would be anywhere between 20 and 25 so inclusive but we just want 23 here dot dot and then close the brackets so now this checks that they've got 23 coal and takes it away and then the last one is going to be chain conditional always active and this one is just giving them the diamond diamond zero one that one zero over so now if we grab a stack of coal you can see we can do plus one diamond takes over 23 and gives us one diamond do that again but now we've only got 18 left so it won't work the third time we can up it all the way up to 22 and it's still not going to work but as soon as we cross over to 23 the amount we need it the trade's successful that's it super easy commands very few command blocks you can expand on it if you want to and if anyone wants that just request it and i'll make a video on it if you want to find out how to add custom drops to mobs click on the video on the left if you want to support the channel through my patreon click the icon on the right if you have any questions or tutorials you'd like to see comment them below Thank you for watching.